John with the Treasure Finding Rods Company. And today I'm going to be talking a little bit about some of the uh, really, really cool accessories that I have for the uh, TFR rods. These accessories I'm going to be talking about and demonstrating today are for the uh, two TFR4 uh, electronic locators that I have the original TFR4 which is this one right here and then also the TFR uh, the new TFR4 extreme version that my company just got uh, out on the market for 2018 so these accessories you can use for finding uh, different types of metals and minerals and so the way you use them is you just uh, replace the standard cap that's on the uh, front of the TFR uh, four rods and you would just screw them on and the big advantage is you don't need any samples in the sample chamber uh, there's different there's many different types of purities of gold and silver and there's also different types of purities of gems. I have a gem hunter here. So by using these accessory uh, booster amplification caps, uh, you won't have to uh, carry around all these different types of purities of different types of samples uh, with you and try to figure out what the purities are of the, the gold and the silver and the other uh, minerals or metals that you're looking for. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about these accessory uh, booster caps and also these capsules that we, uh, my company just came out with uh, during the last year that are very, very handy. We originally designed these for the TFR2 uh, because the TFR2 electronic locator does not have a sample chamber like the TFR4 rods, but uh, we also realized that these booster uh, capsules will work just as well as the uh, the screw-on uh, booster amplification booster caps so you can just uh, I'll demonstrate here uh, real real soon how you would just drop these into the uh, the sample chambers of the TFR uh, four rods so I'm gonna start out with uh, explaining each uh, different uh, accessory cap and the advantages of it and I'll also show how you would just screw it onto the rod so the first one we have here is the gold prospector okay the gold prospector uh, amplification booster cap accessory is used for finding all types of natural gold fine gold this includes uh, hard rock uh, mine gold, crystalline uh, gold, placer gold, gold in quartz, just about any type of natural gold from uh, anywhere in the world pretty much we have tested this uh, uh, accessory on and it's uh, a huge huge advantage because uh, as I explained in some of my previous videos it's kind of tricky trying to figure out the different purities of natural gold in nature because there's uh, no gold from nature is 100 percent pure there's all different types of impurities traces of uh, silver traces of uh, copper so on and so forth so with the gold prospector amplification uh, booster cap accessory uh, the guesswork is taken out it's taken out of the equation you just screw this on and you will not need any samples of the type of natural gold that you're looking for which can be a little frustrating without this because you would need an exact sample from the region uh, that you're searching for so in other words if you're searching for gold nuggets in Arizona for example you would need gold uh, nuggets from that particular area that uh, from that the geology in that area to get the strongest uh, frequency attraction because as I've explained before the TFR rods are working with frequency attraction so you uh, so if you're looking for gold from uh, Alaska for example you really 
wouldn't want to be using uh, natural gold samples from Arizona because the different types of minerals that are in the the natural gold uh, geological makeup w would be different. It's still natural gold, but it would be a different set of frequencies. So you, as I was saying, you do not need any samples of uh, natural gold with this accessory. It's very, very powerful. It's very uh, handy to have. You can just carry this around in your pocket and you don't have to worry about losing any of your uh, uh, valued specimens that you may have because that can be a risk if you're carrying around different types of samples in your pocket. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to explain is these are called amplification booster caps. Now what does that mean? Well what that means is that inside this uh, cap that's uh, it's hollowed out and there's a plug that we that is compressed in after we put in the special uh, minerals and the crystals and the specially encoded frequencies and these minerals that are in there are actually working to amplify the output frequencies of the crystals of the encoded crystals that we have inside here so that's what the amplification means in other words uh, it is amplifying those output frequencies and those signals so when you attach this to the TFR uh, rod, uh, you are actually giving the rod more power and more amplification. So, so it's almost like uh, su you know supercharging the, the rod. When you use these accessory caps and the capsules, you are adding more, uh, you're adding more amplification power to the rod and you're going to get more depth and more long distance range. Okay, so one final thing I'm going to mention about the Gold Prospector accessory cap is this is designed only for natural gold. In other words, you will not be able to search for refined gold, which is man-made gold, uh, with this accessory. I have uh, the other accessories I'm going to be talking about for that application. This is only for natural gold and uh, you won't hit silver with it either. So let's move on to the next accessory. Okay, so this is the next uh, uh, amplification uh, booster cap uh, designed for the TFR4 rods that I'm going to be talking about. This is the TFR GS Gold and Silver. Now, this is a really, really powerful accessory to have because it will search for all types of gold and silver natural and refined man-made very very big advantage you do not need to carry any samples of gold or silver in your pockets trying to figure out the purities trying to get the the strongest uh, frequency match with this accessory you just unscrew the standard uh, brass uh, cap from the TFR4 rod and screw this on and you allow about 40 seconds or so for the rod to connect with the electronic box and acclimate to it and for the uh, voltage from the electronic box to uh, course through the, the crystalline uh, and minerals power load. So once you hook this on you will be able to search for all types of gold and silver, whether natural or man-made. Very, very big advantage uh, when you are searching for gold or silver to uh, use this uh, accessory uh, cap. Okay, this is uh, one of my most popular accessory uh, amplification booster caps. This is a TFRCH Cache Hunter. Now, what does that mean, the Cache Hunter? Well, that means it's a treasure hunting uh, complete package all in one. And uh, this accessory is an amazing, amazing accessory because it will search for man-made refined gold and silver from the modern age and 
from history, from centuries past, going back to the time of Jesus Christ, the Romans, I mean, hundreds of years, thousands of years. We have tested this uh, accessory on really, really ancient gold and silver, but it also works really uh, good and it's very powerful on gold and silver from the modern age. Now, here's another amazing use for this accessory. Believe it or not, this cash hunter will also hit all types of paper money. Any denomination of paper money. Going back to the, to the 1920s, to the 1940s, even earlier than that, any type of paper money, any denomination. Now, people, some people have asked me, I'm really not interested in searching for paper money. Is there any way that I could just get the cash hunter without the paper money uh, feature or option? Well, unfortunately, uh, these uh, set of frequencies that were discovered a, a few years ago by one of our uh, research and development uh, members of our team, it's, it just came with the package. There's no way to separate it out. And, you know, if you really, really think about it, it's very, very handy to have the, the extra paper money uh, feature. Because, let's say you're searching an old business, like maybe a saloon from the 1800s, out some uh, town, mining town out in the middle of nowhere, an area where a lot of money was exchanged, uh, or, or another type of business uh, from from uh, a century ago. Every type of business, especially uh, those types of businesses 100 years ago or in the 1800s or older than that, they rarely trusted the banks. So they always had a safe. Now this is just an, uh, an example I'm using here. Well, let's say you're searching for... Uh, gold and you're just searching for gold coins but you don't know that in the area of your search there's a safe with uh, with a lot of silver bars and silver coins and there's also paper money in there well guess what you're not going to go home empty-handed you will hit the paper money and you will hit the silver let's say you're searching for silver and you're searching for gold and you don't know that in this area this uh, old uh, property this old building that had a business or uh, whatever, you don't know that there is a large pile of uh, paper money. Well, guess what? You will get a signal to that paper money, it, no matter what the amount is. And you can check to see what the amount of the paper money is by switching over to the discriminator mode that's on the TFR4 uh, electronic control box. And so this is a huge, huge advantage to be able to hit all types of refined silver and gold from the modern age, from centuries past, and modern and old paper money. Huge, huge advantage. So these are the reasons that the Cash Hunter is a very, very powerful accessory to have in your toolbox. Okay, so now we're uh, moving on to the next uh, uh, accessory amplification booster cap for the TFR4 uh, rods. This is the TFR GH Gem Hunter. Now, this is a very, very powerful accessory because we have over 72 uh, different types of encoded frequencies from valuable gems around the world. So it's almost like a whole frickin' uh, jewelry store packed into this accessory. It's a very, very amazing, and we've, we've tested it at jewelry stores. We've tested it on all types of jewelry and gemstones, and it's very, very powerful, and it works very good. So uh, I'm not going to sit here and list every single gem that you can find with this accessory but I'll just go through the popular ones the, the some of the more valuable ones natural diamonds and refined diamonds so in other words you could use this to search for valuable natural diamonds 
at the diamond mines. You know, diamonds are uh, becoming very popular uh, to search for at these locations. I think the, the some of the biggest ones are over there in Arkansas, from what I understand. Well, you could go there and you could use this accessory and you could start finding valuable, valuable natural diamonds there. We have tested this uh, repeatedly in, fi in field testing, and it will not hit regular quartz. It will not hit uh, carbon, and it will not hit other types of crystals. It will only hit valuable diamonds and other valuable gems like opal, uh, uh, emeralds, all different types of emeralds, uh, different types of rubies, uh, just about any type of valuable gem from around the world. And here's the big, big advantage of having this accessory. Uh, you know, you're out there searching uh, for natural diamonds or you're searching for valuable gems uh, from some treasure cache or something. You don't want to be carrying around in your pockets uh, valuable diamonds or valuable jewels, you know, like emeralds and rubies and stuff like that, because obviously you might lose them. Well, with this accessory in your pocket that's relatively inexpensive, uh, no problem. You know, if you, if you lose this, you're not going to be bankrupt. <laughs> you could just carry it in your pocket. Very, very powerful uh, tool to have. Okay, so the next accessory I have here I'm going to describe and talk about is the cavity locator, the TFRCL. Now, this accessory is a very, very important uh, accessory, just as important as the other ones to have in your, in your arsenal, in your toolbox, and I'm going to give you a few reasons why. You don't necessarily have to be... A cave hunter or a cavern explorer uh, to to get benefits out of this accessory. It will look for caverns. It will look for caves, but it will also detect uh, underground vaults, chambers, pretty much any type of void, empty space that's under the ground. For many, many feet, many meters deep, you can also detect previously dug holes with this accessory. And why is that important? Well, let's say you found a location with the TFR rod, uh, a good target with the TFR rod, a good look, uh, a good spot, and you want to know. If uh, it's really a treasure, uh, or if it's uh, a coin, or a small cash, something of value. Well, what's the best way to know for sure? What would be a good confirmation? Well, a good confirmation would be if there was a hole dug there. Even if the hole has been filled in, that would be a really good confirmation. The TFR cavity locator will detect previously dug holes no matter how long ago no matter how uh, large they were even if they are filled in it's it will detect that void because even though the holes filled in the void the space is still there so that would be a really really good uh, powerful uh, confirmation to, to know that what you, what you found has been previously dug. And I always use this accessory on my treasure hunts to confirm if I've got a good hit, a good signal to confirm that there was a hole dug there at one time, even if it's been filled in uh, by nature or by man. Uh, I will confirm that there was a, a space there at one time. There was an excavation done. 
You can also find uh, mine tunnels, mine shafts. We have uh, tested this accessory on uh, gold mine tunnels and mining shafts. Um, so it has many different uses as far as uh, ca you know uh, uh, spaces underground and detecting cavities. So pretty much any type of cavity, void, any any type of uh, a space. Uh, whether natural or man-made that's underground, the TFR cavity locator will detect it. And you can measure the perimeter of what you have found if it's deep underground. Uh, you can actually measure the perimeter by using a method that uh, is described in my training videos, a certain method where you can use the cavity locator and you can find the edges of a, of a vault or a chamber or even a, to find out uh, how long a mine shaft is or to find out how long a tunnel is or you can also measure the diameter of uh, uh, the entrance to a mine shaft. If the mine shaft or the entrance to a tunnel or a cave or a cavern is concealed you can f you can measure the edges and you can find the perimeter of that opening with this accessory. There's a certain uh, uh, method of, of how to do that. I have a friend of mine that used this accessory uh, to help him find his septic tank. That was they forgot where it was. There was a problem with the septic tank, and he saved uh, several hundreds of dollars by just attaching this to his TFR rod and uh, finding out where it was and he was very uh, happy uh, to to save that money. So there are many different uh, applications and uses for this accessory. I would recommend that you uh, have this in your arsenal. If you have my TFR uh, rods and even if you don't have any of the other ex accessories this is would be a very handy confirmation tool to have with you. Okay, so this is the last uh, accessory that I'm going to be uh, talking about and explaining today. This is the TFR MH Meteorite Hunter. We just got this accessory finalized and uh, we've done a lot of testing on it and it's just uh, working very, very well. It's amazing. You can search for all types of valuable meteorites. Now, there are different types of meteorites and some of them are more valuable than others. We originally were going to design this to only get signals on the very valuable meteorites, but we decided after uh, thinking about the whole thing that we did not want to limit it to just the real rare valuable ones because there's a lot more uh, meteorites that can be found in the ground in certain areas where meteorites are known to hit the earth and fall in fields and stuff there's a lot more of the meteorites that are not as valuable as extremely the the rare ones so we decided to just make this uh, accessory get signals on all types of meteorites so you can use this if you're a meteorite uh, enthusiast and you go searching for meteorites well you don't need to be carrying around different samples in the t and putting it in your pockets and putting them in the TFR rods you can just hook this on and it will it will give you signals from close by or very far away if the meteorites big enough uh, to to meteorites if they're there no matter what the size is and of course you can pre-select the sizes of the meteorites you want to find with the discriminator voltage uh, option on the TFR4 electronic box or you can just search for any size, all sizes at once with the uh, direct voltage setting. Okay, these are the booster capsules that I was talking about that uh, 
are available for the TFR uh, 4 rods of both the original and the new TFR 4 Extreme and I'm going to show you in a minute here how you would just drop them in the chamber. They're not, they're very small, they're very compact and they're lightweight and they're a little less in price than the uh, screw-on uh, amplification booster caps. They basically have the same ingredients in them and uh, maybe a little less of the uh, power load, but uh, pretty much the same. They will work uh, very close to the same. And all the uh, TFR uh, rods, accessories, the Gem Hunter, the Cash Hunter, all of, all of them are available in these uh, capsules. These are uh, to be used with the TFR2, which doesn't have a sample chamber in the front rod because the rod is just an antenna rod, and the TFR4. Uh, locators, the original and the new extreme, and here's um, here's another one of them that's uh, the stainless. You can see that's the cash hunter. And so I'm going to just show here real quick how you would just drop them in the front chamber of the of the TFR4. Okay, so you would just take the front cap off, just like that. Okay, then you would just drop the uh, booster capsule into the empty chamber down in there, just like that. Then you would put your cap back on. That quick and that simple. Then you're ready to go. Okay, so now I'm just going to give you a quick little demonstration here of how the uh, TFR uh, accessory booster caps, how they attach to the, uh, the front of the TFR uh, 4 uh, rod. So you would just take that off just like that, the standard cap. You would remove it. And then you would just... Uh, make sure you don't have any samples in the chamber. Make sure your chamber's, uh, your sample chamber is empty. Just confirm that. So then you would just screw on the uh, accessory. Just like that. It's quick and easy. Just make sure it's snug. Then you would just attach the antenna back on. Just like that and you're ready to go. Make sure it's tight, and you're ready to use the uh, any of the uh, available uh, TFR uh, rods uh, amplification booster caps. That's all you have to do.